Hello and welcome to another video blog post from CMSQuickStart.com. Today we're going to take a look at Drupal 7, adding some content, creating some menu items, and nesting them in different ways to display them. So we have a lot to cover, so let's hurry up and get through the infomercial part. Who are we? We are CMSQuickStart.com. If you have not seen our other blogs, video blogs that is, check us out at CMSQuickStart.com and hit the blog button. And uh, by the way, there are, you will also find 14 pre-themed, pre-configured uh, installation profiles for sale. Uh, we're calling them themes, but they're even more than that. They're pre-configured with views, quick tabs, uh, slideshows, carousels, really cool stuff. Check them out. They're pretty cool. Take out the Latin, put in your real content, and launch a site rather quickly. Who am I? I am Doug Van, as always. Check me out at DougVan.com. i got a cool blog there, some cool stuff. I think you'll enjoy that, too. Now, we grabbed Drupal 7 Alpha 5. Uh, so Drupal 7.0 Alpha 5 release from Drupal.org, and here it is. And I want to add some content. Let's get started. Add new content. We're going to create a basic page. Our other option was article. And we're going to call it About Us. Okay, simple enough. And this is going to be all about Doug Van. We're going to drop down to the bottom. Here's the magic. Provide a menu link or no. If you don't, people can't get to it unless you have some kind of a view creating a link to it. So we're going to, and by default, it pre-populates the menu link title to the title of your node. These are called menu links now, not menu items. So, and by default, it gives you the main menu, and we're going to do that. Now, the weights are the same as Drupal 6. Heavy numbers go to the bottom or left, and light numbers go to the top or right, depending on whether you're vertical or horizontal orientation there. I'm going to save this page. And sure enough, here's about us over here. So you, you go there, and it's the same page. So let's add some more content. Another basic page. Imagine uh, more about us. Okay, fair enough. And uh, more about me. Okay, drop to the bottom. And by default, there is no menu. What are they calling it? They're calling it menu link. So we enact that. And there's our title of our node by default. Now I'm going to nest it this time. I'm going to drop down to the About Us. And notice that there are not multiple menu options. Each content type can have a narrowly defined set of menus that it can be assigned to. So if you only choose Main Menu, then as you create basic pages forever and ever, your only options are to go to the Main Menu or a nested page below it. We're going to try a nested page below it just to see what happens. And so it becomes a child page at that point. We're going to save this. And here's the example of our page, all about Doug me, or all about me. So here's the front page. Here's the one item that we created about us. And that's great. Now where did that page go that said more about me or more about us or something? Well, here's what we gotta do. Number one, the reason you have this uh, main menu up here is because your theme is providing that. You go to appearance, and you have your enabled themes. You go to the settings of your enabled theme. And the first thing you have is a big, a big color wheel. You can change the color of things. You can also drop down and select different uh, different ideas. There used to be one called coffee. Let's go for a nocturnal just for kicks. So we'll drop down. And here are here are the toggle displays. Now if I turn off the main menu, what do you think will happen? It'll go away, right? And uh, some of you know where I'm going with this, but I'm not going to tell you until I get there. So I'm going to save that. So my color scheme will change. And... Um, the main menu should be gone, but you know what? First, we got to refresh this page because this is the page we just left with a, with a modal pop-up window. So I'm going to the About Us page. Um, so that that menu link is gone, and our colors have changed. So kind of throwing throwing an extra thing at you there with a the theme change. So where did it go? Let's go back to our structure. Let's go to our blocks. So the main menu can appear via the theme, but we just turned it off, and it also appears down here as a disabled block. There are many disabled blocks. Here's main menu. Let's put it uh, just let's put it in the header for now. That'll be an easy place to find it. And then you must save this page, or else you don't get your changes saved. So the block settings have been updated. Close this window. And uh, again, I got to kind of refresh this. So I'm going to hit uh, Command R on the Mac here. And there's the main menu about us and more about us. It lists them both, right? Now, when you're on the front page, all it shows you is about us. When you go to about us it shows you the children as well so there could be more even more oh my goodness there's more and will this ever end you could add menu titles all day long and they're called menu links in Drupal 7 so let's add a second one just for kicks we're gonna add content basic page call it still more and uh, oh no kinda like an oh no Mr. Bill for you uh, older Saturday Night Live fans. Provide a menu link, if they're not called menu items, 
and I'm going to nest not not way down, but I'm, I'm going to nest with about us. And uh, we'll, we'll leave that default. If they're both zero, then it defaults to alphabetical. We're going to save this. Okay. And um, that's good stuff. Basic page still more has been created. Now, if we go to the About Us page, it has more About Us, and then still more. Okay. Now you're going to want to do some CSS theming to put this over to the right, because right now it kind of looks like it's deeper below, but it's not. So that can be confusing. So when you're on the About Us page, you get them both. But when you're on the main page, back home, all you get is the first one. So simple enough. Now there's one more thing we can do as well. We can go into Appearance. No, I'm sorry, Structure and menu or menus and take a look at the main menu right here's the main menu list the links I can change the order right here that literally changes the uh, weights but it does so with a drag and drop so I can save this but that's not all you get so I can add a link right now I can add a link to um, to my to some other body someone else's blog or drupal.org I can add a link to an outside site if I wanted to let's try something else let's go over to structure blocks and you notice that the, the word main menu appears up there well it looks like it should be a main menu so what does it have to be called the main menu you can take that let's take that name away main menu configure you go in the block title and look at this you can use bracket num bracket and show no title that's pretty cool let's try that drop to the bottom and save it. And you can do many other things too. You can change what page is on, um, what page the menu main menu block appears on, that kind of stuff. So let's close this and refresh our front page. And now it just says about us, right? And then if you click on about us, you have those two that are below it. Still more and more about us. And again, you want to style these to look a little different so it makes more sense. Hope you enjoyed that. I am Doug Van. Check me out at dougvan.com. And as always, check out our themes. Check out the themes club and pricing right there. And um, there's lots of cool thing, uh, themes in there, starting at the same five bucks and moving up. Um, some of the newer ones are uh, City Guide, uh, Vibrant, and Gourmet. And there's another new one, too. I can't keep track of it. Uh, I have nothing to do with the creation of these, but uh, the fine folks at CMS Quick Start uh, are providing that for you. And they're the ones that make this blog possible. So thank you so much. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.